Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. My name is Hillstash, and we find ourselves with a new mission, uh, as suggested in the comments. And I ah, uh, already forget who. Bye. Sorry. Did that always move? Is it moving? Looks like it's moving. Anyway, uh, we are needing a satellite in geosynchronous, geocurbinous orbit, and so let's have a look at the Kaputnik. Is there anything we need to do to change it? Or is this okay? Parameters. It flies well enough, I think. Uh, doesn't need... Uh, technically, it should have some reaction control system, and instead of having a, a, an engine like this, it really should have uh, reaction control instead But for station keeping. But I think we can cheat a little and get by with the way it is. I think I think that makes sense. Otherwise, I've got to stick one of these tanks on. There's no small RCS fuel tank besides that one. No, that's pretty big for. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so I don't think there was any problems with the flight last time. I think everything went well. And this thing seemed to have more than enough power. So let's use it. Uh, yeah. We'll call this Geokerpetnik 1, and we will launch. Now, I've never gotten a, a ship into geosynchronous orbit uh, in Kerbal Space Program before, so this is actually a new one for me. Uh, looking it up, it looks like it's 286... Um, 280, 2,868,750 uh, meters, 0.7. And uh, so that should be pretty easy, I think. Let's just see here. Was it somewhere around there? Uh, what is this? Geo Kerputnik 1. In 3, 2. Got kind of a sunset launch here going. And we get some screenshots for the inevitable uh, YouTube picture dealy. And let's see. Okay. Should be a fairly standard orbit. I'm going to talk a little bit again, though, because otherwise there's not going to be a lot of content for this video. Uh, don't have a lot of time. I am currently baking bread, and it's on the second rise at the moment, so I've got about, looks like about 20 minutes at the moment. So, whoop, there we go. There's 100 meters a second, 3,600 meters in altitude. I'd like to say how far downrange we are, because that's what they always say on the uh, other launches, but we are zero meters downrange <laughs> at the moment. But that's the way we have to fly this. Someone had a comment in, the, in my previous video about uh, the difference between Earth and Kerbin, and I kind of already forget about it as well. I'm terrible apparently today. I apologize. So anyway, baking bread uh, and getting ready for family weekend. Oh, that's really going there now. Yeah, so uh, heading to uh, my brother's place for the weekend. That should be fun. Lots of family coming. And there's my 10,000 meters. Let's do a fairly uh, somewhere around there for the moment. We have our one orbiting body. Nice clean atmosphere here so far. Atmosphere, orbit, orbital region. Alright. Whoa. Yeah, those are close. Uh, could probably put some separatrons on those and they wouldn't go too far awry. Get orbital here. Oh yeah, we need to also crank that up now. Keep forgetting about that part. I don't have mech jab on here, so I don't know what my thrust to weight ratio is. 
But uh, so anyway, yeah, family stuff this weekend. Uh, what's ever what's everyone else doing f for those that celebrate Easter? Don't really celebrate Easter. We just kind of get together and have good food and probably some beverages of choice. Hopefully, port will be in among those beverages, and probably beer. We'll do a fairly aggressive turn here now. Good. So, this thing kind of looks like a, like what I would picture kind of an ICBM to be with just a little extra bit on the end. But, uh, actually, I kind of like the look of it now. I was thinking before that the colors don't, schemes don't match up, but I guess now that the blue thing's gone, everything's matching now. Oop. Just to go fairly aggressively over here. I guess we might as well almost go straight to Kerbo Stationary? Geostationary? I don't know. Might as well. The good thing is is that we'll never have a... Uh, we'll have to circularize when we get out there then, and at any point we can drop off the main tank here, and it will uh, fall back, but it looks like we're not going to have any issues there. Uh, it's already rapidly going. Let's go somewhere around there. So we should then be able to switch to that debris piece, I think. Because we'll hopefully, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so we're looking for two million. There goes that stage. And we remain on target. Never actually, you know, I did debate a little bit about do, I, do we have enough fuel, and I think we do. Uh-oh. I was wrong about <laughs> never getting a periaps. Here, uh, it looks like we will. So I'm gonna have to pay attention because this thing is gonna have to deorbit itself. It's, it's got RCS fuel at this uh, orbital stage, I like to call it. So it can deorbit itself, and uh, yeah, everything should be good there. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 too far. No, two eight six eight. Two eight ten. So this is actually wow, that was really good timing. Two eight six eight almost. Do some RCS just to Whoa. Okay, that's pretty close. That's within two hundred meters. And we are gonna have to circularize when we get out there, so really Probably could have left it a little low, depending on how well we were going to circularize. Oh, and we have tons of fuel left. So that's good. And was it got to get these out so we don't run out of power. Oh, yeah, we got a little bit of time before, before the sun sets. Now, can we switch to that? I know we can't switch there now. Mm, I don't know. I feel like there's just no way to switch to that piece of debris once it's too far away. Besides putting like a command module or something on it. That's too bad because it's going to have a... a it's got a, a good amount of orbital velocity It's when it comes back down there. It would probably have... Some good, uh, some good uh, reentry effects. That's the word. Look at us, though. We have almost the, enough delta v to uh, get to the moon already. Where was the moon? No, oh, it was nowhere. 
nowhere possible to do from that launch. Okay, so let's head out. We'll have to watch from here, watch that plunge. So what else is going on? Um, we had a good uh, fire this past week that I went to. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, good in in that it was good learning experience and got to do some some stuff. Unfortunately, I couldn't save the house. It was a total loss. But uh, by the time we got there, it was fully fully engulfed. So there was no we couldn't even go in. But uh, did manage to save the garage. So that was something good. We got out of it. Uh, that was that the only call over the last week. I think it might have been. So been pretty quiet here in my little village. Guess we can speed this up a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit to get out. It slows down quite a bit once we get out here. Oh, that's interesting that <laughs> they show up here. Okay, minute thirteen. Let's flip this thing around. Oh, I left the RCS on. I hope it didn't. Nope, I guess they fixed that bug where the RCS is constantly firing while you're fast forwarding. That's good that they did. Okay, turn the RCS off and we are burning for geostationary orbit. Just gonna try to keep the Apple apps around this altitude. Now I need to bring it out this way. This is, I know, a little bit confusing, and I'm also losing the... Getting Okay, we're getting close there, so... 2868. 2868. 2851. I kind of want to burn down this way a little bit. I think. 2866. Six. <laughs> oh, that's fun to read. <laughs> it's close. 286. Okay, I think that's probably close enough. <laughs> what is our current altitude? 2868382. Oh, you know what? No, I did something wrong. They, it needs to be over. Ah, oh, crap. It needs to be over uh, the KSC. That was part of the uh, the things that we wanted to do for this. Although, actually, we're where are we? Uh, oh no, it's back over here. It's here. We're there. Ah. All right. Well, give me a give me a minute. I'll see if I can fix that up. Uh, I'm gonna bring the orbit back down a little bit. Gotta keep in mind, I gotta deorbit this piece still, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll bring it back down and then wait till it catches up. Yeah, that should work. We're gonna have to use up some, some days that I didn't want to use, but. Oh, man, it's too bad because I got this such, such a good orbit here going. <laughs> Won't bring it down by that much. If I don't bring it down, down by uh, too much, though, then it'll just take forever. But we'll see. We'll see how long this takes. That might have been too fast. Going in the right direction? Yeah, it's going back a bit. Slowly. Okay. I need to keep the sun out here, then I can see every time it goes by where it is. Does this work? I don't know. 
this is using up a ton of time. A little bit of a crash there. And where did things get left off? 2868373, Um, Looks like things got left off with it before I started trying to correct things. So one thing I wanted to see is, is it easier out here from this angle to what camera angle leaves there we go. So what do I want to do? Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. What do I need to do to get Kerbin to come back this way? I think it was going the wrong way when I brought it down. So let's bring the Apple apps up a little bit. And then hopefully Kerbal Space Center will catch up with us. And then we can fix the orbit again. Let's see if that makes sense. Okay, so we leave it this, like this now. Ah. That's pretty good now. And we're getting close to the periaps. Um, let's bring the Apple apps down. It's slightly non-standard maneuver here because I don't want to change the periaps much but I want to bring the app apps down so is it somewhere around here I could burn or is it I don't think it was somewhere up here um, just kind of making this up as I go along I know. Let's get back on 270. There we go. Now that's still coming down. Oh, that's not on 270 anymore. There we are. Okay. There we go. Now I just need to tweak this, so... That is perfect there. That's perfect again. <laughs> Now, yeah, sorry about this. This isn't the most exciting video. I hope, uh, hope I can make it up soon. I think the next mission, what if I talk about the next mission? Let's just go over to here now. We've got things pretty close, so it shouldn't really be changing that much underneath us. But I need to bring the Apple apps down and I need to do it at the Perry apps. In the next episode, why don't we head to the moon? Because that will be a lot of fun. I mean, maybe we can put some more things in orbit here, I don't know. But I think a moon mission is just about one of the more interesting things we can do. And we'll send a rover there first, similar to what uh, the US and the Russians did. Okay, now we need you to come down just a touch. Two eight six eight. They've just flipped. Two eight six nine. Two eight six eight. Pretty close. Uh, tweak it a little bit here and there. But let's have a look. How close are we over top? For one. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Okay. Now. Yeah, let's point this way. One last thing to do here. Oh. 
Oop, that's my alarm going off. <laughs> so, uh, I need to go check on my bread. I think it'll be fine just for a couple more minutes. Get that all out. We haven't used any fuel on this thing yet, so it could probably go to the moon if it wanted to. Point it down, so we have a communication satellite up here. It can occasionally communicate with the other satellite that's going by. And now, with our actually a good amount of remaining fuel, let's burn it all retrograde. See what kind of a uh, fireball we can get when we come into the atmosphere. Well, we don't even need to burn it all. <laughs> We've essentially just killed our velocity. Let's kill it completely, just for fun. As, as much close to completely as possible, anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is, I've never done this before. This is essentially a straight drop down. Unfortunately, the planet's going to move. Otherwise, we'd be coming down pretty close to Kerbal Space Center. But uh, this is going to be good, I think. We didn't even need to... Oh, that's getting a little low on fuel, but... All right, where's this planet of ours? There it is. Okay. Oh, why can't we do... Here's normal. Yeah, it is going to spin right out of the way. <laughs> and we're going to hit the desert. This is going to be great. We'll just take that off. We'll just go like this. <laughs> Whoa, mock effects. Okay, and because this thing survived, <laughs> I wonder if we can actually save it something I didn't consider before. Trying to be a little bit reusable. I know we've lost the solar panels. Right, that's something I should have done, is tried to make this a... Whoops. Coming up awfully fast on the ground here, too. Oh, look at that. Oh! I lost the engine. <laughs> but, but otherwise, I just saved this thing, and we just had an awesome reentry. so pretty cool. I'm down an engine and one of these modules and the entire uh, <laughs> first stage parts. So it's not entirely a reusable space program, that's for sure. But I'm trying, and uh, we'll see if we can get a little bit better next time, actually. Uh, maybe we'll make those uh, drop-off boosters uh, parachute back. And the whole first stage uh, thing can maybe, the, the core stage might be able to, to come back as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name is Hillstash, and I will see you soon.